Uh, 2004 Chevy Cavalier here and uh, this is my friends it died on them in the middle of the intersection so we were diagnosing what the problem could be and this thing's got oh what do you say 170,000 miles on it and long story short check the time chain well I got it off right now but Time chain was stretched and timing skipped time pretty far and the valves came up and or the pistons came up hit the valves so that's about it for this engine. I guess what we're going to do is we're going to pull this out and we've got a engine coming from the junkyard with a hundred thousand for just a couple hundred bucks we're going to drop this in here and away he'll go. I saw a form on oh was it Pirate 4x4? No, the guy was putting one of these 2.2 Ecotex into a Jeep. I thought that was that's a coil pack. It was down the valve cover there. Uh, that's a interesting engine swap. Nothing I would have done but to each their own I guess. Now some of you may be wondering why am I going through the effort to put a, another engine into a 2004 Cavalier as opposed to just having him get another one. Well this is for a northern car it's pretty much rust free which is pretty surprising. There's just a couple little spots underneath that are just starting to get rusty and it's it's in pretty darn good shape for its age so that's why we're going to be dropping another engine into it because you can go out and buy another one of these for three or four thousand with a hundred thousand miles on it or he could just drop another salvaged engine in there for oh about four or five hundred depending on the mileage five hundred probably get you something under a hundred thousand but that's quite a bit cheaper than a couple grand a brand new fuel pump in there also Brakes are all brand new. Gonna have to redo the exhaust, but that's the plan. Time to disconnect the uh, radiator, get this pulled out. We push it back out in the driveway because, you know, there's just gonna be a little that we're gonna spill, even though we try to catch as much of it. But taking this front guard off and the book said because of this airbag sensor here before we go ahead and mess around with that we should disconnect the uh, airbags up here which was a pain in the butt but we did anyway because yeah that suck the back from the junkyard here is the engine for the Cavalier, this is, um, what was it? I forget the year, I think it was a 2004 also. It came out of a Grand Dam. And this has 96,000 miles on it. And we also got a transmission with 70,000 miles on it. And it wasn't too bad price-wise. 200 bucks for this transmission with 70,000. The 96,000 mile engine was a little more than I expected. It was 650 or 675, but that's okay because the prices that I got for four and 500 were for the previous body style, uh, or excuse me, the previous engine um, that was in the Cavaliers and you know in the 99s and whatnot.